Okay, now it's time to record our lyrics. Now you've developed your lyrics and writing them and asked people to help uh, improve them and now you're ready to record them. Now, uh, you could just like talk through your lyrics at first and then re-record them later just to get the sense of it. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can record your um, vocals once you're ready to go. Um, either talking or singing it. Uh, first of all, I like Audacity. Audacity is either Mac or uh, PC. Um, if you have a GarageBand access, you could just uh, open GarageBand and choose a voice instrument, okay? And then you just can choose the default settings. And then here in GarageBand, you can have a male basic and a female based basic. Now notice, as I'm talking, um, the voice is uh, showing the levels right here. And then when I'm ready to record, I can just hit the record section and then notice that it's recording my voice. And then I'll hit stop and then I'm done with that. And if you want to play back, and you can play it. back. And you can just click on this if you want to make some really cool effects over here on the right side. Um, if you want to sound like T-Pain. Uh, personally, I like R. Kelly. Man, like, I really like his song, I Believe I Can Fly. Uh, let me show you how to record in Audacity. Maybe I'll bust a little tune out for you. Uh, first of all, Audacity is a free download, audacity.com or net. <clears throat> What you're going to do is get File, New. And this is basically your new project. Now you want to get a track. I'm going to go to Project, New Audio Track. Now in this audio track, you notice you have a lot of information here. Okay, You can go mute, solo, left and right, depending on what speaker size. Right now I'm recording at 32-bit, uh, mono. If you want to change these settings, okay, you can go up here and choose uh, your rate. If you want to do it at a higher rate so it sounds better, I'm going to Jump that up so it's a little bit higher quality. Uh, it's up to you. So you can go left channel, right channel, uh, depending on what kind of which speaker or both that you want to go for. Um, now let me let me record a little some some bust off some R. Kelly for you guys. Um, I actually used this song when American Idol was touring and they were looking for talent. I was in Honolulu and I tried on a busted out this song for them. So let's see if I can go a little acapella today. <clears throat> <clears throat> me, 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 me. Yo, 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 yo. All right, I think I'm ready. Okay, so I'm gonna hit record. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. I see you running through that open door. I believe, I believe I can fly. All right. Uh, as you can see, I obviously didn't try out for American Idol. Just joking about that stuff. Uh, sometimes I like to make you guys laugh so you guys feel more comfortable in recording your own. So it's, it's all about having fun, guys. Uh, so let me record, so I see you see that track in the middle there. I'm actually going to add another track, Project New Audio Track. And now I'm going to add a couple more vocals, like I'm going to go... I believe I can fly. Ooh. Now when you record, um, you want to make sure that you're on solo track. So if you have a multiple tracks open, you don't want to be listening to things while it's being recorded, otherwise... Uh, like if you have a guitar in the background going on and you're recording your voice, you don't want to record that guitar in the background. You want to go solo. So maybe headphones while you sing or uh, some other clever way. So I'm going to go solo on this audio track as I record and I'm just going to be like, I can fly, I can fly. And then I'll just do that. So we now we undo solo. Okay. Um, and let's play them all together. Be like, be like, I, okay. I, I believe I can, I can fly. fly. I can fly. I all right, let's stop that. <laughs> um, so now we got our audio track. Now, usually, if you do two tracks, you'd want to export them out separately. So I'm gonna go here to solo on this track, or actually, I'm just gonna take that one off. 
And now I'm going to go up here to <clears throat> File, and I'm going to export as WAVE. WAVE is a little bit higher quality than MP3. Um, in MP3, you have to install a lame file, which you can do if you want, but I'm just going to choose WAVE. So I'm going to put uh, Fly. Okay, and so I'm going to put that on my desktop. And there we go. So now I'm exporting out my audio files WAVE. Now, when you get into class, you can uh, go ahead and import that WAV file into your uh, GarageBand file. So I can come up here, and I'm going to open up GarageBand. I'm going to drop my file in, just drag and drop, okay? And then, I, I believe. so there it is. Now I can still do my uh, effects, okay? So, Steve, I can touch the sky. I think about it. And also, in Audacity has some cool effects. If you highlight certain sections that you want to have an effect on, then you go to effect, and then you can add like an echo, you know, and then it has. A can touch. You can also add some bass. I mean, these effects are pretty cool. So I'll let's check it out. I believe. So, um, you can also to move the track. Okay, this uh, arrow is right here. Okay, you can move the track left and right. You can magnify it closer to zoom in to see how your uh, range is for your pitch. You can also adjust the levels for how loud something is. You just click on these dots. Okay, you just click and make dots, and then you can uh, make things fade in and fade out. Okay, so those are the main tools I use, and then this is just to highlight things, and you can just delete by hitting the delete key. And it's a really easy program to use and edit audio. And like I said, you can do it either in, in Audacity or GarageBand, depending on what's available to you and depending on your preference. And then once you have your vocals, um, you, would, you would import your vocals into your actual song. So you'll see all your tracks along one side uh, when you do that. So go out and get your own vocals and be proud. <laughs>